archaeologists working at a site in Egypt believe they have found a miracle tunnel that leads to Cleopatra's tomb. The 4,800 foot tunnel that runs beneath the temple of Taposiris Magna in the Alexandria area can take experts to final resting place of the Egyptian queen and their lover Mark Antony. Kathleen Martinez, an archaeologist at the University of San Domingo, believes the two are buried in the temple and this could be the key to finding them. She admits there is a 1% chance they will find the remains, but if they do find Cleopatra, it will be the most important discovery of the 21st century. Cleopatra and Mark Antony died after losing the Battle of Actium in Greece to Octavian, Caesar's successor who was fighting for control of the Roman Empire. They are believed to have committed suicide. Legend has it that Cleopatra was killed in 30 BC, bitten by a venomous snake. But the graves were never found. Miss Martinez believes they plan to be buried in Tapo Series Magna. Cleopatra negotiated with Octavian that she could bury Mark Antony in Egypt. She wanted to be buried with her because she wanted to reproduce the legend of Isis and Osiris. After her death, the gods will allow Cleopatra to live with Antony in an alternate form of existence so that they can have external life together. The tunnel has been described as a geometric wonder. It is about 1.8 meters high and resembles another piece of ancient engineering, the Eupolinos Tunnel on the Greek island of Samos. Archaeologists have found it about 43 feet below the temple. The pottery was found under silt in the Samos section. Coins of Cleopatra, the much earlier Alexander the Great, statues of Isis, the Egyptian goddess and the headless statues have also been found. Cleopatra was the last of the Ptolemaic dynasty, a long line of Egyptian rules that traced their ancestry back to Ptolemy. A commander of Alexander, the great army who took over Egypt when the Macedonian Empire collapsed. She ruled from 51 BC and came into conflict with his brother Ptolemy. Her and Julius Caesar relate to this rise of Roman influence over Egypt. After she was killed, she became the lover of one of his followers, Mark Antony, who was involved in a new Roman civil war with Octavian. The latter was declared Caesar's successor and would defeat Antony and Cleopatra before eventually turning Rome into the Roman Empire. Antony committed suicide after mistakenly believed Cleopatra has taken her own life. She later died of what is widely believed to be a suicide. Thanks.